Ever have one of those days where you just like to kill something? Today is one of those days for me. I thought I was recording and turns out I forgot to turn my battery, slide my little switch from smartphone to battery or to camera. And so you don't get any audio for that first part there. So let's uh, just forget about it. Okay. Bye. And it looks like we're going to have to do a voiceover for this. So uh, the, the painting for today then is going to be uh, this hot air balloon. And uh, you can see it right there on the screen. And uh, one of my delivery drivers actually owns this balloon and flies it. And I, I uh, have had several conversations with him about it. And I just happened to see the other day that uh, he had these photographs of it posted on his uh, Facebook page. And uh, really, <laughs> really, really love this balloon. Particularly, I think it's it's one of the prettiest balloons that I've seen. You see that, that big white band there that I'm pointing to? That is, uh, for me, probably the, the best part of this. It just really pops out in the sky. It stands out so well against that uh, the, the, the dark blue ultramarine sky there. And then uh, the colors that you see in there, uh, there's a gold band. Uh, actually, well one, two, three gold bands on it, and those are bordered by black. So it's just got the striking, very simple appearance. You know, so many of them uh, look like Mickey Mouse or, or brightly colored, and certainly nothing wrong with that. But this one, just the simplicity of it, it's just beautiful. And I, I love this photograph that, that he took. It's, uh, uh, you, you know, the, there's just, so, it's so basic, and that's, that's what, what makes it so nice. Got a little bit of tree showing up down there at the bottom to give it some kind of character and uh, a little sense of scale and a sense of place. Uh, and then it's just this uh, perfectly clear blue sky. And uh, that's, that's the, the money ticket, I think, right there. So I'm excited about getting to paint this picture. And we're gonna, gonna dive right in. But before we do that, we're gonna have to take and do a little bit of sketching on it. And so let's get to that right now. All right, I want to start down here in the lower corner where those trees are at and just loosely sketch them in. I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to make it look like uh, the tree as it actually appears. Just a suggestion, kind of a marker maybe. You might, I might put it that away. Um, and I like the way the trees rise up high there on the left, and then they drop down and, and completely disappear. But I, I want to, I think I want to keep an element of trees all the way across there. And then uh, on the right-hand side, I'm going to bring the pencil line up and uh, kind of uh, basically create, uh, well, an or organic shape, but also like a valley there. And... Um, that will that brings us just a little bit more interest, a little more intrigue in the scene. There's there's not a lot going on here, so uh, we got to got to work hard to make this as interesting as we can. Beautiful little picture, but we can make it a little bit stronger. And uh, so uh, by having this little valley there, it's kind of a uh, it creates an effect that that pushes your eye up towards the balloon. Uh, we've got a triangle there in the lower right-hand corner, as well as a triangle in the upper or the lower left-hand corner, and you got this little V shape, and that forces you up so that, that your eye subliminally has to look at uh, the uh, balloon. So now to the placement of the balloon, where to put it? Uh, in the photograph, it's almost in the center, a little off-center. So what I'm doing here is just taking a little triangular eraser that I've got that basically becomes a three-dimensional representation of the balloon, and I can place it on there, drag it around different heights, different uh, uh, locations there from right to left, till I find one that just makes me feel, uh, makes my eye comfortable to look at. And obviously right there we don't, we've got it in the middle, we, you don't want it in the middle. Uh, so I like it off to the right and down a little bit about like where I've got it there. So, but again, you know, this is a, a, 
just a simple way to try out the idea of what, what it's going to look good there or where, where it's going to look good. So, uh, and this idea just popped in my head because I, I saw the triangular shape of the eraser as well as a, it kind of represents the shape of the balloon. So I made a little mark at the top there, what you saw, uh, where I wanted the uh, the top of the, the balloon to be. That's the top of the eraser. And now I just take my time and sketch this in. Balloons are symmetrical for the most part, uh, but they always have a cast shadow on them that kind of throws you off, it seems like. So I've got to uh, just kind of take my time and work diligently to make this balloon large enough where it uh, where it does its job. I mean, you, you get to see the detail of it, but at the same time where it's not too large and overpowering. And all the time gauging how the symmetry of it is, the angle that I'm looking at it from down below, uh, the way the, those colored bands wrap around it. All these things are key and critical, and you want to want to just take your time and uh, make adjustments as you see that you need them. Visually, my balloon, the symmetry, looks off to me. The lower portion there is uh, kind of off to the right a little bit. So I laid the pencil down there just as a center line from the top of the balloon down. And I could tell that it was off a little. So I'm just making a, a correction there to it. Uh, now is the time to to spend the energy making the modifications you need to get it right. Uh, I've, I haven't painted a lot of balloons in my life, but I've painted several. And if you get them wrong, <laughs> they look wrong. <laughs> I, I guess like a lot of things, you know. So uh, you just want to take, take your time. If, you, if you're not feeling something's right, take the time to fix it. Just like right there, you know, the, that, the, the white band, that air portion of the balloon, should bulge out a little farther than what I've got it. So I'm making that modification. And then I'm not afraid to take my pencil and erase out the lines. And so you just you just keep keep working it until you get it the way you want it. All right, we uh, moving on into rapid clip here, <laughs> a little bit of time lapse. Uh, but I'm putting in the, the arcs or the bands of color that are in there making sure that uh, uh, thing, things are, again, symmetrical, they're lining up, paying close attention to how the bands wrap around. And if, if you're drawing this, this will test your drawing skills. Uh, but take, take, again, take your time on it. I've got a little bit of the quilting or whatever you call that, uh, the little bulges from uh, the supports that go up and down there, I'm laying that in. And they're, they're just kind of roughed in. Uh, all put them in a little closer when I paint. So, All right, so now we want to go and move on to masking this off. And so I've, uh, I've wet my brush, blotted the excess water off of it, and then I come in and uh, dip the, the brush about halfway down. The hair is halfway down into the masking fluid. You don't want to get it all the way up in the ferrule or it's going to create a lot of problems for you. And then taking taking your time and working to to get that to uh, to be very very neat to get the edges neat um, and I'm painting the entire uh, balloon just to protect it so that I can uh, comfortably lay my wash in there. So I'm gonna just protect the entire balloon with masking fluid. I'm gonna protect the little light areas on the the basket underneath it as well as there's a just a little uh, little little bitty spot of light under there. I'm not sure exactly what that is from. I've, I don't know if it's the flame that you see uh, lit up there or if it is uh, maybe a portion of something between the basket and the balloon that's catching some light. But anyway, uh, so take, take your time, fill that all in. Make sure you get it covered good. You don't leave any little pinholes, especially in the white area. Because uh, I, I, I'm going to, once I remove that after I do the sky, then I will come in and lay the gold in over all the gold and the black. And when I get that right, then I'll come in and lay the black in, which won't be a black. It'll be like a, a neutral tint with a bluish cast to it, maybe a little phthalo blue in it. 
So uh, that's what, I, what I'm doing there. So after we get that done then, the next step is going to be to paint this. All right, I'm back. Uh, I've got the masking fluid applied. The masking fluid is dry, and I'll, I can show that to you there. And you can see here that uh, the, I've got a, a good heavy coat on. Let me tilt that where you can see the glare. That it looks wet, but it's dry. It's, it's a little gummy because I put it on so thick. Just want to make sure that it's completely dry before you try to paint over it. Uh, you can see a little bit of glare on the basket, and then uh, there's a come up here. Of course, the balloon is all covered, and there's a little something sticking down there that's got uh, the uh, uh, a little bit of highlight. So I, I I masked it out as well. I made sure that you know my I've got nice smooth edges so that when I lay that wash down and I pu pull it back up, pull the the masking fluid off the balloon will have a nice shape and won't have any issues there. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to we're going to uh, delve in deep into doing a uh, uh, a, a gradient wash. I'll find my word there. Uh, going to be really super deep blue up here to make the balloon pop out. And as we get down here, it's going to lighten up. Uh, probably go into some phthalo green, maybe a little bit of raw sienna down in here to get that nice transition. So uh, come back and join me for uh, the, the next session on this. Uh, we're going to have a good time with that. And uh, until then, this is Spencer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in just a little bit, okay? All right, bye-bye.